Hey guys, this is Emily from Emily Synthology and today I'm doing a pretty different, really colorful makeup tutorial. I actually wanted to dedicate this video to my two younger sisters, Michelle and Sharon. This look I actually did on my blog quite a while back. Um, if you're a longtime reader of my blog, you might remember it. I titled it the Orchid Inspired Look. And um, I did this look because I saw a really pretty bouquet of orchids um, that my housemate got given and I thought, oh my god, I really love these colors and these shades and I wanted to do something that kind of incorporated all these colors into one makeup look. And my sister Sharon really, really loved it and she's been asking for it for a very long time now and I have finally gotten around to filming it. So this is dedicated to both Michelle and Sharon for being such amazing supportive sisters, for not fighting over the camera with me and um, taking my pictures for me sometimes and just supporting the blog overall. Thank you guys and I hope you guys like the look. So I've got my base down and my eyebrows done. I wanted a pretty flawless base so I went in with the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Liquid Makeup and um, I did a bit of spot concealing with the Enve Eco Organic Erase Concealer and um, obviously I did my brows and the product that I used was the Anastasia Beauty Express Kit and now I'm going to move on to the eyes. Now for the eyes, obviously they're the focus of this entire makeup look so they need to look really nice and intense and I need to bring out the colors so the product that I'm going to be using and this is going to really intensify all the eyeshadow colors is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is just in the color Milk. It's a basic white color and what I want to do is place it all over my lid. So again, what this is going to do is really intensify the eyeshadow colors and bring out that really nice deep look that we're going for. Now remember to blend out this base color because if you don't blend it out it might smudge and crease with your eyeshadows. So I'm going to start off with a plain white eyeshadow on the very inner corners of my eyes and for that I'm going to be using the Illamasqua powder eyeshadow and this is in the color 6. It's just a nice white matte eyeshadow which is exactly the kind of look that I'm going for and I'm using a pencil brush to pick everything up because I want the pigment of the eyeshadow to be really intense so I'm just kind of pushing it onto the inner corners of my eyes really packing that color on Next, I'm going to be going in with my Sleek Circus Palette and I'm going to be taking the lightest blue color over here on another pencil brush and I'm going to be packing that pigment right next to the white eyeshadow that we applied earlier. Don't worry about harsh lines at this point. Your aim right now is to get a nice, thick, vibrant wash of color on the lid. Now for the blending. Um, with the blending, you can kind of do it either way. You can either blend as you go, so at each point, just use a fluffy blending brush and kind of blend the colors together so you don't get any harsh lines. Or you can do the blending right at the end once you're done placing all the colors on your lid. Right now, I'm just blending as I go just to show you how to blend the colors into one another and I'm just doing the part in between the white and the blue eyeshadows and leaving that part for later. Next I want to take this beautiful vibrant matte purple color. This is from the Illamasqua Fundamental Palette and I'm going to pick it up on another pencil brush and I'm going to place this right at the outer corner of the eye. I'm making a bit of a winged shape with this. Again, don't worry about harsh lines at this point. Focus on getting a nice, thick, very vibrant, very pigmented area of eyeshadow. 
Now once you've got that purple down, you can start blending all the colors together using the exact same blending brush that you used earlier. Just kind of mix the colors together, but try not to go too far beyond the border lines in between all the eyeshadows because that's really going to muddle up your eyeshadow colors and that's not what you're going for. So really lightly just blend the colors in. Now if you lose intensity in the eyeshadow colors, all you have to do is just pack the eyeshadow colors back on and blend it back up. And just keep going until you achieve that intensity that you're looking for. Next, we want to deepen the color in the outer corners. So for that, I'm going to go in with this blue color in the Sleek Circus palette. Again with a pencil brush. And I'm just going to go in the very innermost outer corner, if that makes any sense, of that purple eyeshadow. And just add a bit of blue there. Be careful not to cover all of the purple. You still want some of the purple to be peeking through at the outer corners. And once you're done placing the color there, you can blend out all the edges and blend the blue into the purple a little bit. Just make sure everything is nice and soft, no harsh lines. Now I want to run a color into the crease and I'm going to use this fuchsia colored eyeshadow again from the Sleek Circus palette on my fluffy blending brush that I used earlier. Just pick up a little bit of the powder and run it through the crease really lightly. And just tie all the eyeshadows into the color. You have to use a really light hand with this or you're going to muddle up the colors or create too much of a red crease. Now before I do the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner on my upper lash line first. And I'm going to be using the CK1 liquid eyeliner marker. And I'm just going to line the upper lash line quite thickly. and create a wing that follows the eyeshadow shape. Make sure to dot in between the lashes as well. Okay, so I've done the liner on the upper lash line and now I'm going to go in with my Illamasqua Fundamentalism palette and I'm going to pick up this pigment here. It's a cream pigment um, and it's silver and I'm going to pick it up with my smoky eyeliner brush and just apply it to the very inner corners of my eye. And this is going to open up the eyes a bit. And it's going to go very well with the color that I'm going to place on my lower lash line. And 
I'll show you that in a bit. Now I'm going to lay down a base on my lower lash line as well before I go in with the eyeshadow color and I'm going to take it from the same fundamentalism palette from Illamasqua and I'm going to use this green color over here. It is a cream eyeshadow and I'm just going to run it along the lower lash line. One final thing I'm going to do right before I place the eyeshadow on the lower lash line is I'm going to go in with this Skin Food Creamy Smoky Crayon. And um, this is in the color. I have no idea what the color is, but it does have a number two on it, so that might be the color. And I'm going to run it into my waterline, both on the upper and the lower lash lines. And then finally, with my smoky eyeliner brush, I'm going to go in with this gorgeous green color over here in the Circus palette. And I'm going to place that right above the cream eyeshadow base that we laid down earlier. And as you can see, the color really pops because you placed the base down earlier. That just intensifies all the shadows and helps everything cling to the skin a lot better. I'm just placing some black eyeliner on the lower lash line just because I want to give it some definition there. And I'm just going to smudge that all out with a smoky eyeliner brush. Okay, next up I'm going to clean up underneath the eye a bit and for this I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique Concealer. Just going to place some of it underneath my eyes. And I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and just blend all of that out. Now I'm going to do a bit of spot concealing where I rubbed off my concealer while I was doing my eyeshadow. And I'm going back in with the same Envy Eco concealer. Just placing the concealer where I need it and then blending it out with my finger. And I'm using a Real Techniques accent brush for this. So I just applied my false eyelashes. I just used a pair of random cheapies that I got off eBay because I'm not really good at taking care of my eyelashes. My false eyelashes, that is. So I don't see the point in buying something really expensive that I won't be able to preserve. So onto the setting of the entire makeup look, I'm going to be using the Sleek Luminous Pressed Powder and a Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm just going to press the powder onto my face. Now the reason why I'm pressing the powder instead of just dusting it all over is because I don't want to disturb the concealer that I just placed all over my cheeks. Now for the cheeks. Now since the eyes are so strong already, I'm going to do only a very very tiny bit of contouring and I'm going to be using my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette just with my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm only going to do a very very light dusting of this powder underneath my cheekbones and I'm only doing this to give my face a little bit of shape and definition Finally, I'm going to go in with a really light dusting of a really gorgeous shimmery blush from Clinique. This is the Fresh Bloom All Over Color and this is in the color number 2, Posy. I'm using a Royal and Langnickel blush brush. Just picking up the pigment with my blush and then just patting it onto my cheeks. And kind of dragging it towards the temples and down into the contour. I also want to do a little bit of contouring down the nose. And this is my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Palette that I used earlier.
And finally, I'm finishing off with a really nice bright lip color. This is the NYX Round Lipstick and this is the color Fig. I'm just applying it straight from the tube. Now I don't want the color to be too intense, so I'm going to dull it down a little bit with this NYX Brush On Gloss. And this is in the color Lilac Field. So that is the finished look. This is a really colorful look and I thought I wanted to do something a bit different since I've been doing really, really wearable looks. So I hope you guys liked it and if you did, please subscribe up above and like down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time.